Hi everybody, this is Sun Sun Mushy, and I actually was trying to figure out which topic I wanted to do, um, but I decided to go back to these topics that I've done before, just a really um, solid one topic type of reading. So uh, there will be another one coming up after this, but this is a pick a card reading on your love situation. So we're gonna tap into what your situation is when it comes to love, um, where are things possibly going, and, and just kind of some advice for any of you who might be looking for advice. So go ahead and choose a reading, reading number one, or number two, or number three, to get your message. If you would like to choose based off of a crystal, you can go ahead and pick out of these three if you resonate with any of them. Reading number one is this blue gold stone. And I'll move the camera down so you can see um, all three together. But reading number two is this rose quartz. And reading number three is this orange calcite. So. Yeah. If you've already chosen your reading, go ahead and go to the timestamps that are in the description box below to get your message, and I will see you all over there. Um, and also, real quick, I am a little under the weather, so um, if my voice is a little shaky or gravelly or something, um, yeah, just just bear with me. So these are the three different crystals you can choose from number one two or three you can listen to one multiple or all messages you can do whatever you want with listening to these um, but yeah I'll see you all in your reading All right, so this is reading number one, your love situation. Let's look into it. So we are getting the five of cups. So I'm getting, you know, certain things had either come to an end and you're moving on, you're moving forward, or you're, you're working through that. Or um, things have been going good and stuff, but you are just feeling like with how slow the energy was, that it wasn't really working for you and you just really wanted to you realize just focusing in on this all the time wasn't making things happen any faster so moving forward is a very strong message coming through right off the bat manifest yeah it's like you couldn't just sit around and do nothing you're like I, I want to do something so that is what I'm getting for your love situation I'm getting like you're moving forward faster than situations you've had to leave behind. Um, and even though this is your love situation, it doesn't have to be, um, like a, if this is like a romance love situation, it doesn't have to be specifically the romantic person that, that you feel you're moving on from, that you're like, you know, like for example, like an ending of a relationship type thing. It doesn't have to be that. If that doesn't resonate with you guys, it could very well just be, um, a, a way of life where the system that you had set up or like the places and the time and the energy that you're putting into your connections with people 
um, certain things came to an end there where everything kind of um, reached a breaching point, I guess. And then it's like, all right, I just need to rise above from this and go at it kind of alone. So I'm kind of getting a bit of a hermit energy there. Heart chakra and kind of, yeah, manifest from the heart. So the year, all that came from the heart. So it came from a really good place is what I'm getting. And so then with all that in mind, something to kind of see the bigger picture with all this. We've got this unicorn card here and this is prompting call a friend today. So I'm getting, well, you spoke from the heart. You were very open and you spoke your truth. You're like, I see, like, I feel like this is like you being aware that if you manifest from the heart and you're really honest and you just kind of say what you say, like you're doing this well aware that things could or could not work out. You're like win or lose, you know, pass or fail. This is what my heart is telling me to do. This is what my heart is saying like to myself and I want to share this when it comes to this person involved with my love situation type of message is what I'm getting. I'm saying like me and I and stuff. That's just kind of how I channel because a lot of the time how I channel is through relating um, as well. But this is, yeah, this is a situation coming up so far. And then where this situation is kind of going. Woo, we've got the third eye chakra. So the good news about that is like you do have a good feeling about it. You're like, I'm feeling lucky, you know. And it seems quite positive what's going to unfold when it comes to this situation. Trust, yeah, it, it kind of just looks like anything you moved forward from kind of catches up to you anyways. So if any of you had to take some time apart or some certain situations happened that kind of tested whether or not you and this person are gonna work things out or multiple people, if that's what resonates for you, um, it's like your, your heart and your intuition, it's bringing you um, together. So I'm seeing that your love situation is working out really positively. The message over there is laughter. Laughter attracts unicorns. So to me that's saying like, yeah, you're just focusing, you're kind of the hermit energy again, you know, it's like you're kind of coming from a place where you're going to be sort of just focusing on yourself, but you're also connecting with others when when it feels right. So you're balancing really well with the like, the like introvert, extrovert type of energy, the hermit slash like socializing energy. You're like, those have a really nice balance is what I'm seeing here. And that balance is actually proving to be very, you know, balanced, very stabilizing for your energy and for your love situation. So that's really, really good. Let's go ahead and get just a few other messages of like what Spirit wants to just say as like an oracle message about your love situation. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I am getting like, yeah, initially you went through some hardships with, when it comes to this situation that you're in with this person or people or whatever, um, this love situation. And by moving forward and trusting, the end of all of this is like, you're just trusting. You're like, you know, like, yes, it's scary. I processed all this, you know, I, I'm, you know, I feel like you were scared, like, well, like, I don't want this to end or I don't want this to go poorly because then what, you know? You're just kind of trusting, you know, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna trust this situation and see where it goes, but I'm also going to be upfront and kind of bring this message from the heart that like, I'm going to move forward and have fun with my life no matter what. Like you're going to, you're gonna succeed no matter what happens with this love situation. So I feel like you kind of, you came to terms with all the possibilities and we're just like, regardless of what actually happens, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trust and I you know I feel like you learned enough things I think at the beginning maybe things slowed down or things went through a hardship because you were in that grieving process you were in that five of cups energy but I'm seeing you got out of that energy really fast I'm also having deja vu I feel as though I've already made this video so this is all like yeah this is deja vu so I feel like these messages are resonating with those of you who chose reading number one so yeah, this end 
this this tough cycle is coming to an end and it laughter is on the horizon let's get that message over here yeah your dreams need a practical plan we are getting earth energy here uh, November 12th I believe is the full moon in Taurus so this is kind of saying like yeah there's a lot of laughter and fun times on the horizon perhaps from the full moon and onwards it's on the 12th and this is the card number 17 so that to me is giving a message that maybe five days before the full moon five days after like around that time frame there's going to be a lot of trust and her and laughter on the horizon there that's kind of what your situation is going to be looking like so if any of you are oh and then this is the number five yeah so that that whole five thing I'm going with kind of is resonating I feel so you're going through these transitions from the grieving process and just letting that go letting go of the tough stuff it was really challenging you you did go through some hard things um and it doesn't have to be just about this love situation i i feel like it could very well be connected to all sorts of other things that were happening in your life um the analogy i want to use is like you know that whole like where they're like oh what came first the the chicken or the egg or, or whatever the saying is and I'm pretty sure there's an actual like scientific answer to that, but like the whole point is like the the whole point is like people are supposed to be like nobody knows, you know? It's like what came first, like you know, like this love situation kind of reaching this hardship or the life situation, you know? It's a little bit of a mix. It's like hard to kind of say like you know like oh maybe the love situation only got to this five of cups grieving process because of triggers, you know, things that happened, but maybe that needed to happen for this to happen for the whole cycle to come full circle hope that all made sense but basically what i'm describing is scorpio season scorpio season is bringing us the answers when it comes to our hardships uh and it's going to give it to us very directly um even if the direct way will be confusing at first i'm getting as you process by the time you centralize with your heart it brings you up to your third eye to your wisdom your inner knowing and that gives you the understanding of where, what the whole lesson was here. And then once you've learned that, you come full circle and you kind of you kind of realize, you know, I see I did get triggered and that's what led to me, I'm going to say you, you know, like you guys bringing the love situation in the direction that it went in. And you're like, all right, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to go back into a forward movement. Instead of going this way or that way, left or right, I want to go forward, you know, is the message I'm hearing to say. Or right and then left is from how I'm seeing this, you know. So, you tried zooming forward, you tried going backwards, and you're able to combine that and go forwards. That's kind of like the last message I'm getting here um, as some of your advice. So, it's like instead of one or the other, try both is the message I'm getting. So, if any of you know the, uh, the whole idea of runner chaser, it's like, how about no more running, no more chasing, um, and then like embracing and like talking about both of it, all of it, talking about the running, talking about the chasing, talking about your whole truth of what's possible and what you can do, being honest, like, hey, I have no idea, and now I'm just quoting my own situation for sure, but like what I kind of did in my situation, I was like, I communicated to this person that is in my own love situation, I was like, hey, I really do have no idea like what you will do or what you will say, but here's what I'm going to do and here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> and I hope, you know, that I can hear back from you and, and that, you know, we can still move forward, you know. And, <coughs> sorry, and, you know, the right person for you is going to put in the same work that you put in. So, yeah, that's the message I'm getting to deliver to you guys. So put in your amount of work, be honest and truthful about what you want to do and what you want to say, and then you know, like give it some time and you'll know. You know, you'll know if the situation is going to work out or not because the person will either put in the work or they won't. And if they don't, you know, probably from what you already said, you probably already explained, yeah, if you don't, you know, if you don't want this, if you're not interested, then I'm going to move forward. See how, like, when I show you guys the card now, the card is actually going that way. So you are going to give this your all is what I'm seeing. But ultimately, 
you're you are manifesting coming together and like laughter and happiness and it you know I can see you don't want to put love on hold anymore you always want to move forward you always want to move with your heart your heart and your mind are very combined right now you it's working together really like in harmony really positively so the good news is like I really do trust this message that I'm about to deliver it's like if you and this situation doesn't work out I really think everything's gonna work out for everyone involved very quickly after at, like as quickly as things could end with you in this situation is also as quickly as it's something new can start up for you uh, in the next cycle and some of you listening you might feel like no way Jose like after the you know maybe this is something that's been like a five-year relationship or a ten-year you know something really long and then if it should it possibly ever come to an end I can feel for a lot of you you're like no like the practical energy in this word it says your dreams need a practical plan it's like some of you where that resonates you'll know like by this full moon if you want to take a break and you're not you're not putting love on hold but you might put like you know pursuing romance on hold because you need to heal and so those of you listening you'll know where you're at you'll know how that resonates right now I do feel in the mix there are some of you where it's like the tough cycle is really not your fault it's like I feel like maybe you have been clear so many times with this person like for those of you it has been a long relationship and you're manifesting from the heart you've spoken now what it is that you stand for and and I feel for a lot of you like you know if you have a good feeling about this person if this person puts in the same work as you then whatever this tough cycle is there's a strong chance that this person's gonna just continue to match your vibe and continue you know I really feel this is a good thing that a lot of you are involved with with your love situation and then any of you listening if you're like if you haven't met someone or if you're single or something like that you know and you're like this is all just focused on you and the concept that you you're trying to move forward and trust that this person exists for you um, I'm getting a lot of your hardships with that belief is over you know you're done with the hardships of it you're done believing the negative things that you know that like maybe this person's not out there for you you're like you're finding a way for yourself to move forward and trust that that love and laughter exists and I think some of you could very well just like magically meet someone I shouldn't say magically but it is quite magical but it'll be practical it'll make sense how like you'll put yourself out there and you'll like meet somebody and you're like wow I met someone wow you know so there's all sorts of positive messages going through here I know that got a little scatterbrained because I like to keep in mind that like there's still a large collective and this can resonate in different ways with people but that is basically what I'm getting for reading number one if I were to get just one card as advice other than whatever messages came through we get nothing is yet said and said. The, the biggest advice is to not count on one or another outcome. Don't bank on an outcome like, oh, it has to work with this person or, oh, it, I, I, you know, maybe this means it's not going to work with this person and I need to move. It's like it's, this message is not saying that at all. I really don't know what's going to happen with each and everyone's situation and stuff. Yeah, I can get a vibe and kind of. I can see things coming and stuff and we all can you know you listening you all can see stuff coming and things like that but truly this is like who knows what's gonna happen so don't count on any specific outcome because this is saying anything can happen so just if you can't count on the outside world or a specific outcome count on yourself you want laughter you want love you want happiness you want a connection where you and this person are on the same page you know what you want so count on that count on yourself and you're gonna make it through whatever this love situation is so that's the last piece of advice yeah and I was just looking at this card we're just talking about bringing love in the situation and I just feel that vibe of like pop like it's okay to be positive and hopeful about the situation too is my last message okay so I was reading one got really long <laughs> that happens a lot um, but thank you all so much for listening. If any of you would like to book a reading with me, please do. You can check that in the description box below. There are some big updates coming through for this channel. Uh, it's, it's in transition right now. So when this video is up, I won't be fully transitioned to my new, um, system, but definitely check the description. There will be some information 
on what's going on. So thank you for listening to those messages, and I will talk to you all in another reading video. Peace out. I've been here before, baby When your back is against the wall And you thought that you lost it all Don't worry I've been here before, baby Okay.